Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, I'm gonna show you app in Power BI. That means an app is a Power BI content type that combines related dashboards and reports all in one place. An app can have one or more dashboards and one or more reports all bundled together. Apps are created by Power BI designers who distribute and share the apps with their colleagues. There are many different ways a designer can share an app and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create an app, how to maintain it and how to use it. So enough all the talkings, let's get started. So the very first what you have to do you have to sign in into your power bi service account and once you will come over here on my right hand side you can see there is an option called apps so you just need to click on that once you will click on this you will see if you have already created any app or somebody has shared with you those apps so that means there can be another person or power bi designer who has created the apps and they have shared with you those are gonna populate over here and also there are many organizations outside your organizations who have created some template app and you can utilize them simply what you have to do you have to come over here and click on get apps once you will click on get apps you will see this kind of window where you will find different kinds of apps whether it's a linkedin nfl or maybe youtube analytics etc you have to just click on any of those once you are gonna click it start loading automatically and then you can click get it now after that click continue it's gonna ask you whether you want to install it or cancel in our case we are just gonna get install it and it would take a couple of seconds to install this app and after that it's gonna populate into your screen or in your power bi service account now as you can see it's been installed and now it's saying yes your app has been successfully installed go to the app or you can just right click over this app and you will see this app has been started now also you can connect with your data you can see on the top of that it's asking you to connect your data so you have to provide your details and then you can connect with your YouTube account similarly there are the different applications or the different power BI apps for different purpose so you can choose whichever you want but what if we want to create our own app within our reports or dashboards then how can we achieve that for that what you have to do you have to go on your workspaces where you have created your reports or dashboards in my case i have this demo workspace where you can see i have two reports and one dashboard i want to create an app for this workspace but before going further you should remember that you can only create one app from one workspace you cannot create multiple apps from one workspace once you are going to come over here on my extreme right hand side you are going to see there is an include in the app so it's up to us or up to the designer which report or dashboard they want to include or exclude within the app there can be certain reports or dashboard that you don't want to publish into that app so what you can do you can toggle them off or on according to you once you are good over here after that you will see on the top there is a button update app so you have to just click on that once you will click on this then there are different options over here the very first option over here you can see the setup in the setup first you have to provide the name of your app in our case i'm saying demo app then you have to provide some description which i have already written you can see this is a demo app and then the sport site so generally in the organizations there are many sporting sites where you can raise the ticket regarding power bi or any issues that you are facing so you can provide over here you can upload and logo as well so if you have any particular logo for your app you can upload over here you have to just click on upload and then you can select it for example i just select this one click ok and now you can see you have this logo not only that you can change the theme color as well right now it's blue color but i want to change it to something green so i can use this one then there's a contact information which simply means if there's any kind of issue is coming out from this app then whom you should contact so it's basically gonna give us the information to the end user who's using this app that you should contact this particular person if you are facing any kind of issue so you can either say show app publisher for example in my case if i'm doing so it's gonna show my contact information if you have 
any specific contact then you can do that or also you can manage the contacts from the workspace as well so up to you which you are gonna do that the second step is over here navigation navigation basically means you will see like this panel similar to this panel you will see in your app so that you can navigate over there and you can see which report or dashboards you want to keep the uh, at the very first level so over here so you will see I created this app earlier and it's going to show me this section over here. What you can do, first you are going to see automatically whichever reports and dashboards you have, they are going to publish over here. So in my case, this is my dashboard then followed by my reports. Also, I have added two sections over here. This BA Consulting Pro is a separate link and then also I have another section which is under documentation. For example, in many cases what happens, you want to put some informational documentation like your architecture or maybe you know there are many short forms or some abbreviation or dictionary also you want to put, you can do that. Even you can put your SharePoint links etc. So how you can do that? You have to click on this plus icon and it's saying new. So now you will get two options whether you want to do it for section or the link. I can say the section and I can give it a name. I call it dictionary and then once you are going to type the name over here dictionary then you can add it and under this one you can add any link i can say okay i want to add a link of over here so suppose i'm on my website and i want to provide the link of my about us i can copy this link from here now i can add this link over here and i'll say okay this is about us and here you can provide the link just paste it then you, you will get some options whether you want to open in the current tab you want to in the current content area or the new tab so new tab means simply it's going to open another tab into your browser current tab means in the current tab itself it's going to open or the content area means the same app area it can open so in case of content area you should always remember that it can only open in the content area if you have certain permissions if don't then you won't be able to open that generally it requires some authentications but if not then definitely you can open that so let's say content area and we'll see whether it's gonna appear there or not and similarly i earlier i created one uh, section over here which is documentation in documentation i have given just the power bi link or you can even change it to power bi documentations which i'm gonna do over here and let's paste it so that's how you can manage them if you want to move up and down if you want any report to come first and another second then you can do up or down but it's totally up to you and once you are gonna do that that's all you need to configure over here now the third option is the permissions here you can give access to the entire permission or specific user so i suggest you go with the specific individuals or the group with whom you want to share this report and there's a couple of options as well so you can check them whether you want to really apply them or not and there's at last there's an option installation installation basically means you want this app to automatically install in every power bi user in your organization whether you want to install this app in the accounts of all the power bi users into your organization or not so that's the option which your admin has to enable or disable once you gonna do everything you will get one link as well this is your app link that you can share with other users otherwise you just need to click on the update app once you are gonna click update app then you are gonna get this message so click on this now you will get this link for that app you can copy that and you can click go to that now you are in your app as i mentioned you earlier on your left hand side you will get this navigation pane and here you can navigate into your report the very first that we have in our report this one is for your dashboard now followed by your reports and you can see your reports are over here then i also mentioned one documentation link this is in my di consulting pro which i created as a link and you can see it's opening in the same tab but now it's coming out of your app so what you can do you can go back and you can see if i would open the new tab it would open a new tab or in the same content area now this one over here is again the same link but it's just i created a new section for the demonstration purpose where you can see this the last link is dictionary that i created another section to demonstrate it how you can create it and there's an about us 
as i mentioned you earlier that some links can be open over here some cannot be and over here you can see in the same content area it can be opened so many of the time if you want to attach any ppt from your sharepoint or you want to attach any other dictionary that you already have on conference page or any other sharepoint site etc that you can also mention over here so that the users don't have to go into another page or see any other information now you can click you can visit your pages and you can see everything what is going on there before ending this session i would like to say whenever you have to share your any report or dashboard then i strongly recommend you to always use the apps in power bi reason being when you are sharing your reports and dashboard through app you just need to provide permission on the app not on the data set or on the workspaces this is going to help you to maintain your power bi reports and also it's a secure way to share with your users so that was the complete introduction to the apps in power bi where we have seen what is an app in power bi how you can use it what is an app designer and the app users and what are the advantage of an app if you have any questions or concerns please do let us know in the comment section and stay tuned for more updates